Hey folks, Technoverse here. I recently went on eBay and purchased a decently sized lot of filament for a really cheap price. I'm going to show you what I got and tell you more about it in the coming video, so stay tuned. All right, so the deal here was um, nine different kinds of PLA, nine colors, uh, two spools of each. They are one pound rolls and it went for, I believe it was $56 uh, for the buy it now, which was not bad. Uh, you have to add 30 to shipping and it comes out to be around 80 bucks. So that is around $8.50 per pound, or no, excuse me, per kilo, which is pretty good. So well, let's take a look at a couple of these. I'll show you this one first. Now this is the red. Um, none of these are branded, they're just plain spools and they say PLA. Uh, some of them say the color, some of them do not, some of them are inaccurately labeled. So, uh, as you can see, this package came open. This is the only one of all of them that came ripped, so I'm not too worried about it. But I will probably try to use this first, just so it doesn't dry out, since I haven't opened the rest of these yet. One of the reasons that we are rocking the green screen back here and not using the brick background or the uh, chroma key filter to change to a different background is because then you wouldn't be able to see the green and yellow colors that I got. And there are two, um, and this is one of the ones that's mislabeled. And it is very, very hard to tell the difference in these um, at pretty much every angle unless you're looking right at them. So this one is green and this one is yellow, but they are very, very close. There are two of each of these. Uh, and I'm also curious to try this one because I like this lime green color. It's very, very nice. Um, spools seem wound really well. Like I said, this is a tiny spool, so we might have to rig up or print a tinier spool holder to go through there or set something else up to make that work. Um, they sent me a large spool of a natural as well. So this is a clear PLA, and I actually have not used a natural PLA. I've used lots of clear filaments, um, but not one that is a PLA. So interested in trying that out and seeing how transparent it comes out. A, nice big spool of black here now this package doesn't seem to be open oh nope I'm wrong this package is open so that's why there's airflow in there there is some desiccant in there though so hopefully that did its job and keeps this at the proper moisture levels I have four more colors to show you they are pretty simple colors there is a lovely blue and a white and the last two colors are a yellow, which I actually use all the time and have gotten several different kinds. Um, and then you have a brown. Now this guy says it's mahogany. Uh, is sealed properly. However, the desiccant pack inside burst open. So it will need to be cleaned up a little bit, probably blown out with some air duster and wiped down just because I don't want those little particles um, getting all over everything or, or possibly into the hot end or extruder and into the air. So uh, that is it for this haul. Altogether we have, like I said, about 18 pounds of filament here and it cost around 80 bucks. So not bad. Uh, I would hook you guys up with the store that I purchased this from. This was actually the last bundle he had going. I am going to keep an eye on it when I see more deals on there. We will do another video and I will let you know uh, but first I thought maybe I better try this stuff out and see if it is worth a damn because that is super cheap for filament. So we are getting ready to start a live stream today. If you'd like to check it out, go ahead and pop back around my channel. We will be going up around 11 o'clock central time today and we are going to be running a different color I think on each of the printers, the four that are running right now, not the uh, extra ANET A8 Plus that I still need to get the throat for but the one that works, and then the Ender 3, the TiVo T-Pro, and the ANET ET4. So we are gonna test some of these out and see what we get. I got some pretty interesting colors here, and I'm anxious to get started. So if you'd like to know more about that, feel free to pop in and check out the live stream. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like on this video. That's always appreciated. And if you don't mind, feel free to share our videos out to your friends. Show somebody you know that you think might be interested. That helps us a ton, and we always appreciate it. 
on that note, in a couple of seconds, you're going to see a pop-up showing my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, all you have to do is head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. There are links all over the place if you don't feel like spelling my name. So, um, Patreons are always appreciated, and if you do that, you do get your name up at the end credits, which we will soon be moving to the beginning of the videos. We are redoing our intro video. Some of you may have seen a couple of sneak peeks of that um, to change not only the visuals, but the music as well, and a slight update to our SeaTech Devour logo. So um, some quick changes coming up. Tomorrow we'll mark our one year anniversary on YouTube, and in that time we have gained 3,300 and 18 subscribers at my last count, uh, which is pretty good. So looking forward to the next year and we hope you're here with us to enjoy it. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.